Hi guys, welcome in technology welfare. Let's see in this video tutorial how to recover iOS data as well as if you have unfortunately by mistakenly deleted your data. Now you would like to recover of that. How you will go for it? So it's very simple. Just you have to install this phone power software that I have given below the description box download link directly you will be able to download these applications after downloading you have to install this in your PC or laptop then you have to connect to your data cable there should be no any technical issue otherwise you can check it out how to check out the hardware as well as the software of iPhone device that video I have uploaded in a playlist here let's find out how can I recover my iOS data as well as deleted any special data so I will here go for an administrator phone pump just I will click here see uh, while you're doing this procedure your system should be connected with the internet with good frequency let's see here I have a three options iOS system recovery see guys let you inform the one thing here if you would like to directly iOS system recovery yeah if there is a broken of your iOS system in your iPhone device in that situation you have to go for here but if you would like to recover iPhone data safely what will you have deleted for example uh, galleries, videos, uh, photos, whatever data was imported for you and uh, now but unfortunately you have deleted so then you have to go for here simple now see here what you have to do just you have to go for a start now see guys here you can find out the camera rolls, photo stream, as well as the photo library, photo app, as well as the videos, audios, as well as message, call history, WhatsApp, attachment, message attachment, voicemail, and WhatsApp here, note, calendar, reminder, voice memos, safari, bookmark, and so what we specified you would like to recover let's see here I would like to recover my video that I have deleted so just I will deselect the all here after deselections it's specified that you would like to recover select so just I have selected this all app here now I will go for a scan. Let's see what's that. Now see guys, it's analyzing your device and it will store you once again, recover you all the data that you have deleted by unfortunately. Second option C. Sorry, let's see third option. Third option here, recover your iCloud backup file. But unfortunately, if you have the flashed as well as deleted, yeah, there was a problem in the fixation of uh, iOS. In the situation, what you will do? If your iCloud, the files as well as the data is not going to backup, in the situation, what you will do here? Just you have to go here and recover the file, iCloud, file and then you have to go for enter your ID 
let you just talk firstly here because uh, I will recover at this time. So. Yes, I would like to stop it now. See, recover from iCloud backup. Simply, I have to enter here my Apple ID and the password that is linked with my cloud activations. And um, then I will have option to go for a start to recover all the iCloud backup files. So easily you can recover your whole iCloud backup data in your iPhone device easily. See guys, suppose here, let's see. If you would like to recover your iPhone data from iTunes, if you have downloaded iTunes and you have already installed in your PC or laptop and there you have done the backup as well as any songs, audios as well as any data that you, you had saved in iTunes that's but unfortunately if you have deleted from your iPhone so how you will go for the recover it so simply just you have to connect your iPhone device to your PC and you have to Go for an edge administrator, phone for data recovery, and uh, you have to click here, recover from iTunes backup file, simply. And you have to go for a start. So now see guys, it has started to recover the whole thing here. The stream file, everything, so now see. So it's a skinny. So guys, simple way, you will be able to recover the whole iTunes data that you have deleted by your phones. Last one is here, home. And once again, I will go in home. And if you would like to back up your store your iPhone data, your iOS, the same thing you have to, as we know that, suppose, uh, I have to upgrade iOS. In that situation, definitely, uh, when I will have to degrade, yeah, dwindle of my iOS in my Apple device, in that situation, what I will do? So before upgrading, we must go for backup iOS data. Yes, I will have to go for iOS data backup and restore. So, how you will do it? Simply just download this phone for software and you have to install. After installing, you have to go for connections. Just to connect to your data cable to your phone device and uh, go for iOS data backup now. If you would like to iOS data backup, yeah, if you would like to restore, it's up to you. So, definitely here I was the planning to restore. iOS data backup in my especially hard disk of the computer. So just I will go for backup now. Now see I have uh, two options. If you would like to backup encrypted backup, that is also fine and safety for you. If you would like to a standard backup, you can directly select here a standard backup and let's start. Let's see. Now whole thing guys see here that is available in your iPhone device, that will be backup. So just I will go for next. Next here, simply I have to go for save the backup file to the path below. Where I would like to save? Because, you know, after upgrading iOS, if I increase to downgrade, if I have desire to come back once again the below iOS for example suppose uh, at the present time I am using iOS 10.3 and I would like to go back on a 9 iOS so how can I go back 
So simply I will go for backup with the help of Yes, if you would like to the backup and the restore, simply phone pa. Of course, I will show you in this video tutorial. That's how you will go for. Otherwise, yes, directly by virtue of your iTunes. Also, you can. There are the various kind of uh, course uh, software that easily you can downgrade with the help of the backup. That you have the safety in your PC or laptop. Yes, certainly, guys. If any error as well as, uh, but unfortunately, due to any kind of the accidental bit, uh, accidentals, yeah, the any errors, the technical issues, hardware as well as the software is uh, coming in your iPhone device here, but then directly you can back up easily. If suppose in a 10, yeah, 11, 12 iOS, if there is a bug in your, yeah, bug attacked on your iPhone device, and once again you would like to the backup of that because you don't like that iOS. In the situation, in the situation, what you will do? Simply go back. So I will go for backup. Just I will select my save the backup file to the below. Show here. You can select here by clicking. Now see guys. Anyway, I can save off that by naming. Suppose, let's see. Yeah. Back up one. iPhone 12. And I will go for select on my hard disk. Let's see. Yeah. And I will go for one. Now see guys, it has selected. Now I will go for a start backup. So when I will click a start to backup, now see, let's see, it has a started to backup all thing. So at the moment I am not going because uh, definitely it will take a time to share your backup. The whole data that is present in this iPhone device. So let it stop now. Just I will come home back. Once again, I will come here. Now I have option one. iOS data store. What is it? Simply just you have to go for backup now. Here is a no backup is the found. Try iOS backup first, then backup number. So guys, uh, actually you know very well that I didn't uh, backup of this. Uh, iPhones that house in the situation what I will do here firstly I will have to go for backup by virtue of uh, clicking here and uh, after I will start a backup then I can go for restore restore means simply if you would like to after downgrading yeah after upgrading of your iOS in your iPhone device in that situation, what you will do here, if you would like to downgrade here, if you would like to back from 10 to 9, 8, iOS, in that situation, if you have saved already backup file, then easily you can come here on a restore. Restore means just here, when you click, it will ask you to select your backup manually. And wherever you have the saved those iOS backup of your iPhone device, select it and you can easily go for restore of that data once again in from iPhone 10, sorry, uh, from especially iOS 10 to 9, 8, 7, whatever that you had saved. So this is really, really very useful. Here is a selection mode, directly you can select no problem if you would like to online then no problem firstly it will back up then you will have an option to go for restore yeah otherwise manually if you have selected and just i will click here now actually i hadn't accept total so just you have to select your wherever you have the shift your backup file and then go for next so this is a good one to restore as well as 
uh, iOS data backup and also upgrade and downgrade if you have saved your backup data of any iPhone device. So here guys, if you have any problem, quick sessions, iPhone, iPad system, easily you can, professionally, of course you can, very proper. Here, just you have to connect and then you have to go for a start. So see a start, it's asking here, the device is in normal state, no need to repair. If you need to recover deleted data, please click here. So I don't, but physical conditions, software as well as the hardware of iPhone device, easily you can detect here with the help of iOS system recovery and then you can here will be messages to go ahead to repair or not. So at the moment iOS system there is not any error so I cannot go because clearly message is given this device is a normal state so I can directly recover of all the data that I have deleted. So this is all about in this video tutorial guys. My motive that's how you will go for recover because as we know that in especially in Apple device we are the facing such kind of the red food of the problem that but unfortunately there is not going to be a backup once again. Yeah if there is not going to a down great iOS if I would like whenever. So you need uh, to shape the backup as well as of course uh, Anyway, according to your uh, infusionization, you can upgrade, downgrade iOS as well as if unfortunately if you have deleted that, you can recover that data also if that is important for you. So in this video tutorial, this is all about today. So of course I would like to request if this video has been benefited in any way. And don't forget like and subscribe to my channels. But the guys, why I'm telling is because this is a thing that's well inspired me to make a more and more video for education purpose. And I hope this enhanced to you our knowledge related to the information technology field. So thank you guys. Have a great time. Bye bye.